Hello friends. Let's begin the journey to understand educational psychology with me, Dr. Sheetal Devlalkar. We all know that educational psychology is that branch of psychology in which the findings of psychology are applied in the field of education. It is the scientific study of human behavior in educational setting. In this video, today we will discuss the concepts of growth and development. The first five years of life are a time of incredible growth and learning. An understanding of the rapid changes in a child's development status prepares parents and caregivers to give active and purposeful attention to the preschool years and to guide and promote early learning that will serve as the foundation for later learning. So friends, First, we will try to understand the concept of growth. When we see the definition of growth, according to her law, growth is change in size, in proportion, disappearance of old features and acquisition of new ones. According to Crow and Crow, growth refers to structural and physiological changes. So, when we see the meaning of growth, we find that growth is a sign of life. All living animals, irrespective of their status in the biological hierarchy, have to grow. The following points can clarify the meaning of growth from psychological point of view. The term growth is used in purely physical science. It generally refers to an increase in size, length, height and weight. Changes in the quantitative respect come into the domain of growth. Now we will see the definition of development or the concept of development. According to her law, development means a progressive series of changes that occur in an orderly predictable pattern as a result of maturation and experience. According to Crow and Crow, development is concerned with growth as well as those changes in behavior which results from environmental situations. And according to J. E. Anderson, development does not consist merely of adding inches to one's height or improving one's ability. Instead, development is a complex process of integrating many structures and functions. So, when we see the meaning of development, development by contrast refers to qualitative and quantitative changes. It may be defined as a progressive series of orderly coherent changes. Webster's Dictionary defines development as the series of changes which an organism undergoes in passing from an embryonic stage to maturity. This change refers to physical, emotional, intellectual changes. To clear these two concepts, we will see the difference between growth and development. After going through the meaning and concept of growth and development, now we are going to identify the relationship between the two which are as follows. The term growth is used in purely physical sense. It generally refers to an increase in size, length, height and weight. Changes in the quantitative aspects come into the domain of growth. Whereas development implies overall changes in shape, form of structure resulting in improved working or functioning. It indicates the changes in the quality or character rather than in quantitative aspects. Growth is one of the parts of developmental process. In a strict sense, development in its quantitative aspect is termed as growth. Development is a wider and comprehensive term. It refers to overall changes in the individual. Growth 
describes the changes which take place in particular aspects of the body and behavior of an organism. Whereas development describes the changes in the organism as a whole and does not list the changes in parts. Growth does not continue throughout life. It stops when maturity has been attained. Development is a continuous process. It goes from womb to tomb. It does not end with the attainment of maturity. The changes, however small, they may be continued throughout the lifespan of an individual. So friends, the changes produced by growth are the subject of measurement. They may be quantified. Development implies improvement in functioning and behavior and hence brings qualitative changes which are difficult to be measured directly. So friends, in this way, today we discuss the concepts of growth and development. Friends, these are some references which are used for this content. You read some more to know these two concepts in depth. Hope you found this video informative and audible and understood the importance to identify the difference between growth and development. Thank you so much for watching the video.